Iran Barkley wants to bring the title back to New York. 28-year-old Barkley of the Bronx, the brawling Barkley enters as the WBC's third-rated middleweight contender. Tonight, the 29-year-old hitman looks to defend the WBC middleweight crown for the first time. And to the strains of Rocky, here comes Hearns. Within the two rounds. Well, again, watching him train Tommy in the gym, he had Tommy with a lot of lateral movement and a lot of good stiff left jabs. The famous right hand of Thomas Hearns and then nailed him with his left. The right was blocked. All right, right by Hearns is blocked. And you saw, you saw Barkley punch back. A right cross to finish the round by Thomas Hearns. And round three scheduled for 12. And Barkley comes out, smoking. Hearns retaliates. Oh, right by a runner! A right by Barkley, and Hearns is down! A lunging right, He's and not going to get up, Al. He does, it's a miracle. He's on his knees. He gets up. Just before being counted out, he gets up. Unbelievable. Seems to me that was a long count. I don't know. Can he survive the third round? Wow. Richard Steele steps in. Hearns goes through the ropes. What a turnaround. It's over. Iran Barkley has upset Thomas Hearns here in the third round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that big right hand by Iran. Look at Iran looking at the floor. Now he's got, he's got the target. And there it is. Just one swinging right hand right on the button. And another one. That's what is known as the coup de grace. From another angle, Gil. There it is again. Look at Barkley. Look at the floor. He's up again now. And he just swings. And boy, did he nail him. And look at that second right hand. How Tommy ever got up the first time was a miracle. Look at that big right hand by Iran. Look at Iran looking at the floor. Now he's got, he's got the target. And there it is. Just one swinging right hand right on the button. And another one. That's what is known as the coup de grace. And this is the end of the fight now. Amazing, like you said, Hearns able to get up from that, but now he goes through the ropes. Well, Richard Steele conceded he's completely helpless and stopped the fight exactly the right time.